A couple of days ago, I uploaded a clip of Rengoku doing a TOD using an assist on the dummy character Shinobu. We know mainly most of us probably from Globku's yeah. video that Shinobu actually has the lowest defense in the game, which prompted me to go and do research on more characters who actually have low defense, just so that I can satiate myself and figure out that Rengoku can actually TOD half the cast because a lot of them have very low defense. So I was gonna turn this into a top five video, but when it comes down to it, a lot of these characters share the same attributes. So for right now, I'm just going to split it up into just the five characters that have the lowest defense, not a top five, because everybody on the list shares stats, kind of. So without further ado, I'm just gonna list them off and I'm gonna tell you how I did it. But here we go. We have Shinobu, we have Hinokami Tanjiro, Rengoku probably will shock most of you, we have Zaintsu, and last but not least, we have Makamo. So the way I tested this was going into practice mode and doing a raw level three ultimate with Rengoku. I don't know if he has the strongest ultimate in the game, I just know he's my main and that's who I decided to use. And with this, I came up with the list of all the characters and basically what we can determine to be their defensive stat. Simply because with Hinokami Tanjiro, I can get a damage raw output of 7603. He shares the same defense stat as Shinobu because when I raw level ultimate three her as well, it's 7,603. Same goes for Zaintsu, Makamo, and Rengoku. They're, they sh also share a defensive stat, which would be 7,286. Meaning these five are the weakest in the game and that allows Rengoku to TOD them simply based off of a heavy attack into two of his skills into a level three ultimate or i mean if you're in surge a heavy attack into two skills into just a level one ultimate he can do damage against these characters the crazy part is Ren Goku, though, is probably still not the strongest in the game because as I was scrolling through Twitter, not Twitter, YouTube, I found a video from Game Breaker God who uses Hinokami Tanjiro to TOD solo Sabito. Yes, Sabuto, and that's crazy to me because I expanded all of my resources to try to kill this character with Rengoku and could not do it, even with assist. So I believe for some reason, Hinokami Tanjiro might end up being the strongest in the game. I'm still waiting on some information because Yuro Kodaki is most likely the most defensive character in the game with all of his stats because he is a tank. When I say he's a tank, it doesn't even come close to how I couldn't kill Sabito. Yuro Kodaki cannot die when it comes to Rengoku. When you do a raw level three ultimate against that character, you get a raw damage output of 6,019 with Rengoku's raw level three ultimate, which is absolutely insane. So yeah, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. So if you ever get online and you know that your character can do a significant amount of damage, it is worth noting that that a lot of these characters share defensive stats and five of them can just pretty much die because they are very very weak and once again those five are Hinokami Tanjiro, Rengoku, Shinobu, Zaintsu as well as Makamo. So go out there and do all the damage you can against this character. When I found out, find out more against Hinokami Tanjiro, I will be back to see if he is truly the strongest character in the game. But without further ado guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just remember that God and anime are always on your side. Please come join the Bandit Army. That is all I got for you. Peace out.